Welcome back to the channel where today we get to open a set of wheels. Now hopefully by the time I post this video, my Type R will actually be here and this won't be a surprise. Um, but I do have a set of wheels here for the car. Um, and they are the factory accessory forged wheel. Um, I mainly got these for, a, a, well, a few reasons. Um, being that it's strictly going to probably be an autocross car, maybe a track there too. I think these wheels would be good for that um, since they are forged and they are lighter. And also the wheel market isn't really caught up obviously with this car yet because it just came out and especially with the rules we have to adhere for autocross um, i may have to order a custom set of wheels if i want to go down to 18s which kind of is the plan um because i think 18s there's a few more tire options uh given the sizes and the gear ratios of the car so we'll figure that all out um, as uh, i know more about the car but yeah, I, I opted to order these wheels um, just because I think they look great, a little bit better than the wheels that come on the car, and they're lighter. So they'll, they'll hold up to some track duty. All right, so like I said, this is the accessory wheel for the Type R. Uh, there's the part number. It is a 19 by 9.5. I believe the offset is the same, but when I get it open, I'm going to take a look. It should be a plus 60. Um, for autocross reasons, we have to stay within 7 millimeters of stock offset. Um, since the brakes are the same on this Type R as they were on the previous gen, um, we have a pretty good idea talking to a few wheel companies of what the profile needs to be. So I think we can get away with um, going off of the FK8 to make sure that we get a set of wheels that fits. wrap the, the wheel completely in something. There's the center cap. What I'm going to do is flip this. And there it is. Forge Type R. I mean, that's kind of cool. It, in all honesty, that looks kind of like a, I think it's a sticker that they cleared over because you can feel it's raised. Um, it's definitely not milled into the wheel. Um, still very sharp. Honda Motor Co. LTD 19 by 9.5 plus 60. So that's why I thought it was a 60 millimeter offset, so they didn't change that at all. It's interesting they put it on here and not on here, but. I will tell you right now, it is very light compared, I mean, for an OE wheel that's 19 by nine and a half, this thing is really light. So next step is to get these things coated and get some tires on them, which I haven't decided yet. So I've got them all laid out. I'm going to be doing the barrels first, uh, just because I don't have enough product, I think, to do two coats of each inner and outer on the wheels. Um, I have more in order. I got on the Black Friday sale. Um, so I'll do that once, I'll do the faces once I get more of it, but I'm going to be doing uh, Delux, which is two coats of Delux, and then Gliss, one coat of Gliss, I think one or two, I got to check my notes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with the inner barrels and uh, go from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
day two, early morning on the wheel coating. Um, been sitting here all night uh, curing. I did end up getting two coats of Deluxe on it. Really happy about that. Was able to get two coats on the barrels, two coats on the faces. So now we are going to go to Gliss. And I'll do two coats of those. Um, my notes said one. I think I'm going to do two coats on the faces and then one coat on the barrels. Part of the issue with coating a wheel, I would say, is um, especially for these, which are probably going to be autocross track tires, track wheels, um, the coating isn't going to last that long with the actual heat and stuff. You probably get a year out of this. So realistically, you're going to be coating your wheels every year if you want them to keep looking like that. So they do look good but um yeah you're gonna be coating your wheels probably once a year so hmm.